Do you stream or record and have a lot of unwanted noise around you? A fan, a fridge, your air conditioning, a loud keyboard, or anything like that? Something new has recently come out, and today we're going to talk about it. My name is Chris, this is Coalition Gaming, and today I'll be your stream technician. Real quick, if you're new around here and are into tech, PC hardware, gaming, streaming, stream tutorials, news and reviews, you've come to the right place. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell and don't miss a single upload. Anyways, let's get to the video. One of the most important aspects of streaming, recording, content creation, video production, and even work from home video conferencing like Zoom or Microsoft Teams is audio. People go to great lengths to make sure their audio sounds as good as it can. Everyone from the hobbyist to the professional. Now, most of the time, what people do is just spend money buying better microphones, buying better interfaces, buy better cables, better hardware, and equipment in general. And it doesn't stop there since things like sound treatment come into play, and that's something else that can be a money sink. NVIDIA recently released something called RTX Voice that can help this I can help the majority of users with all this. Streamers, content creators, anybody wanting to reduce background noise from their microphones, RTX Voice works by engaging your NVIDIA GPU, namely your CUDA cores, to use an AI algorithm to isolate your voice, then identify and eliminate background noise. And it works better than you think. Let's get down to the desktop so I can show you the install process and do a quick demonstration for you all. Don't have an RTX graphics card though, fear not. Watch until the end for more information on how to use an RTX, how to use RTX Voice with a non-RTX graphics card. Okay, so we're down here at the desktop, and uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install it and get it ready before I get into the sound testing. So let's go to Google and search RTX Voice Download, and uh, you'll see this first link right here: NVIDIA RTX Voice Setup Guide. Click that. There's a lot of information here and I'll drop this link down in the description below so make sure to check that out because you can use RTX Voice in Zoom, Skype, Google Chrome with anything that would be web-based, XSplit, OBS, Discord, all of this stuff. So make sure to check this out if you have any further questions on there. But we're gonna go ahead and scroll down and we're gonna click the button that says download the app and your download will begin. So go ahead and wait for your download to complete and then we'll get to the next part but as you can see instructions are pretty simple here you configure rtx voice you select the microphone and speaker that you want to use and then you turn on the background noise removal for the mic and or speakers it can enhance audio that's coming out as well but for the sake of this video we're not going to be testing that part because uh, it's a lot less important but if other people do have noisy backgrounds in your kind of sick of it if you're doing discord calls or zoom meetings skype meetings conference meetings then you can turn it on for the selected speaker and it'll help with their calls as well but let's go ahead and test the microphone and it's downloaded i'm going to go ahead and click that i'm going to press yes there it is so agree and continue preparing for install installation progress and it's done that's pretty quick so it's about to launch right now, and then we'll go into testing it. So input device, default, output device, uh, default, that's fine. Remove background noise from my microphone. So here we're going to go ahead and uh, select my mixer microphone, Sound Blaster K3 Plus. That's this microphone right here. That's the interface that this mic is going for going through so we can have a different level of noise suppression but you want to check the box to actually turn it on so we're going to go ahead and check that box and well it should be turned on i don't know right now if it's making a difference we're going to flip over to obs directly and uh, go ahead and check that out right now i'm going to leave this turned up to max so with that done i'm going to go ahead and x out of it and i'm going to show you guys in obs real quick where you would change your microphone to make sure you have the proper one selected as you can see that the bar is bouncing up and down, that's my mic. And I'm going to go ahead and go into properties on it. And then I'm where it's a microphone sound blaster K3 Plus, I'm going to be changing it to the NVIDIA RTX voice that's listed there now. 
Press OK. And then now we're going to switch to OBS and show you guys just how great this really is. All right, so here we are in OBS and we're going to be trying that out live now. So let's go ahead and grab this thing. My vacuum. Well, I don't have the tube on it. Obviously, that'd be a little harder to handle right now. Let me verify that everything is ready for this. And here we go. Turn the vacuum on. You might hear it for a little bit. And then it gets eliminated quickly after it sort of figures it out. So I'm talking right now. This thing is on. And to show you guys that it's on, I'm going to turn the RTX voice off now. Yeah, I don't know if you can even hear me right now, but you can definitely hear this thing. Now I'm going to turn RTX voice back on. You might hear it for a second again, and then it gets eliminated. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty interesting, don't you think? Okay, so upon reviewing that, yeah, it definitely was working, but there was one difference that from all the videos and clips that I've seen of it so far from other people, where it didn't really affect their voice quality as much. I can move it around, I can bang on the desk. While I'm talking to you guys, I can bang on the desk and have a fan blowing at the microphone and my face, banging on the desk. So it's like a construction site and you guys can still literally hear me fine and I sound okay, like this, like, like if you were just sitting there listening to a live stream, this wouldn't be annoying in the background. Okay, this this is this is genuinely the coolest shit I've ever seen. All right, there, I just disabled the filter. This is what it sounds like right now. Hey guys, welcome to Afternoon Coffee. Does this sound cool? Is this good audio quality? Let me enable the RTX filter again. Hold on here. All right, RTX coming on. And now we got, R okay, still, I still hear the same thing through my headset. It's super fucking loud, banging. I got air blow. My neighbors can probably hear this dead blow hammer. This is just fucking cool. It seemed to really affect it on my end. So that might have something to do with my, uh, my signal chain, probably the mixer or the interface that it's going through. I'm using a condenser mic, but um, I'm not sure what's different about it, but it's still doing its job pretty well as far as noise reduction. Now, I did give it a bit of an extreme case because you're never really going to have stuff like that happening that close to the microphone. Realistically, it would be more like tapping on the desk. So I'm going to turn the filter off right now and you could probably hear this noise pretty good. Or if you're typing at the keyboard, you could definitely hear keyboard taps, especially if you have a condenser microphone. But you go ahead and, and turn the filter back on. And here I am tapping again. You can see my hands moving on the microphone and you probably can't hear them anymore. Now I'm gonna go to typing loudly. I'm still typing. I'm still going at it and it's not picking it up. That's the difference it makes. And that's more real world use because you're not going to have a fan or something blow on here. And I'm feel I'm imagining that right now I'm going to review just a quick second that it's not affecting my voice nearly as much as uh, well, when the vacuum was right next to the freaking microphone. So I had a chance to listen to that real quick and in a less extreme situation, the vocal quality wasn't really affected at all. So that works, I guess, just as it should. If it's working really hard to really kill noise in the background, I guess maybe sometimes things will suffer. But if it's not having to work too hard and you're just making tapping noises, having to fight tapping noises, having to fight keyboard noises, or just sort of more ambient background noise, it will actually be really awesome. And I guess if you really do need to fight extreme background noise, it does a job. It does that job pretty decently too. So, hey. Anyways, that's a quick install and demonstration of RTX voice. So let's get back up to the main camera. This is like magic. It works way better than anyone could have expected. And the best part is it seems to have almost zero impact on the quality of your voice. Other things out there exist that can do what this does, but those things also reduce the quality of your voice. Meanwhile, we now have this RTX voice software and well, like Jensen says, it just works. It's not all upsides though, unfortunately. Enabling this does cost some GPU performance. Play with it, see how it affects your gaming, if that's what you're using it with, and see how comfortable you are with the system impact it has. For non-gaming use though, this pretty much has no downsides. Anyways, let's not forget this part. Even though it has RTX in the title, it doesn't actually need RTX graphics or an RTX graphics card to work. 
only the install process is different, but then everything else is as I've already demonstrated. Using this with non-RTX GPUs can be hit or miss though, so be aware of that. Though I have heard of it working even on a 750 Ti, so that's something. I'll leave the links down in the description below that go further into this, so make sure to check there. What do you think of RTX Voice? Drop a comment down below and voice your thoughts. If you like this video, found it useful, helpful, entertaining, or otherwise informative, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like. Also, just a reminder, I stream every Friday at 8 p.m. Pacific at twitch.tv slash coalition gaming crew. So make sure to stop by and drop us a follow. See you in the next video or stream. Bye. We've got plenty of related videos right over here as well. So make sure you click one of those. Check out some of the other stuff that we have. We got years of content, years and years of it. So click something. I'm sure you'll find something useful, something you enjoy.